Let's take a look and uh, see how standard time would be used by consultants. Uh, first of all, everything sort of starts with the timesheet and maybe the time log. Um, in the timesheet, you have your projects that you're working on for clients. You have your Monday through Sunday hours here, daily totals at the bottom, weekly totals as well. So simply type your hours into a particular project and task, and you're good to go. Um, you might also consider using the timer. You can start and stop a timer. Uh, you can go over here to the View menu and choose Quick Tasks. Here you can actually just click and click again to start and stop a timer for particular Quick Tasks. Um, so that's a quick way of putting time into the system. What I also like to draw attention to is the Time Log tab. Let's go ahead and click on that at the top. Uh, these are some of the columns I like to display in the time log. The start time for each record, uh, the actual work on each record. Now these again are the same records you see in the time log except that they are displayed from top to bottom in record format rather than Monday through Sunday. You've got your project, maybe a client uh, category, the category uh, column, notes for each record, the client rate, and then the cost client then whether these records are billable and marked as billed. So those are some valuable fields that you can display and make sure everything's coming out right. But again, those are the same records that you'll see in the time log. Uh, so where do those billing rates that you see over here come from? Well, they come from the Tools menu, choose Billing Rates, and then Employee Billing Rates or Category Billing Rates. You can choose a project or a client set your billing rates for each individual consultant and then you're good to go. Um, one of the other things that's valuable is to go over to the view menu and choose project revenue. This little window allows you to look out into the future for a year and see where your project revenue is coming from uh, for each of the jobs that you have. So you see a couple of bad months like this, bad quarter, want to make sure you take care of that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of this so show you some other things. Um, one of the other things you can look at for individual consultants is the Quick Info window. Go ahead and click that icon. You can choose a particular project from the drop-down um, or show all projects. It'll show you your time spent today, this week, this month. You can choose little drop-downs to look at yesterday, last week, or the different months of the year. So that allows you to just to see how much, you know, how many hours you have for these different time periods and it helps you kind of coordinate the uh, billable hours. Uh, by way of reporting, uh, you might consider going over here and look at the time logs. One of the good reports for consulting is the client receivables. When I run this, I can just look at, let's say, uh, this month and when I do that I see records that show me the start time and date, the hours, the uh, rate and the uh, cost client along with some notes. Scroll down and you will see the totals for that. These are the dollar totals that are still outstanding for each of the clients. You can see the clients here and then the total at the bottom. There's another report that we could look at. If we close the time logs and go into the management, take a look at the utilization and rates report. This one also wants a date range. So let's look at the last 120 days. When we do, we see individual employees, and we see the scheduled hours, actual hours that they worked, and then that yields a utilization rate and an effective billing rate. So as I scroll through this, you can see the effective billing rate for each of the consultants, and then it averages down here at the bottom for the entire company. So that's useful just to look through and uh, make sure that you increase your effective billing rate for the entire company. So we'll close out of that. Uh, there is just so much to see in this product and I've just kind of touched the surface, uh, but hopefully it gives you a chance to um, focus on a few things and then um, take a look and uh, see what you like. Hope it helps.